You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Welcome to Aurora, everyone, for the CN100 Game of the Week. We are at Aurora Christian High School for a battle in the Metro Suburban Red as St. Francis takes on Aurora Christian. Welcome everybody, I'm Jim Blaney along with my partner Jack McInerney and we have a difference in class to talk about for tonight's game. Jack, first of all, let's talk about St. Francis. This will be the first game they have played all year against a school that is smaller than they are. Well, it's really ironic all the problems they've gone through with the virus, which we certainly will get in later, but they've played all big schools and they've really had a schedule at the last minute to get those big schools but yet they've been very successful. That tells you something about the quality of their team. And meanwhile, even though these teams are in the same conference, Aurora Christian is a 1A. Both schools are off to four and one starts. Both schools can qualify for the playoffs tonight. And this is going to be a great test for the Eagles on homecoming. Well, it is, you know, they score 53 points a game, but I guess it would come down to the schedule. Who have they really played where they're scoring 53 points a game? They move the ball around a lot. There's a lot of good athletic players, but there's also a depth problem. They play an awful lot of players both ways, and that could be a factor tonight. And they'll try sweeping right this time. That's Blake Lawson going down the sideline. Blake Lawson has one man to beat who has an angle. Lawson will get by him. Touchdown, St. Francis. 66 yards on the scoring play. Now, ironically, Lawson is... is uh in the program as a wide receiver, but he's also, if you watch the tape, is one of their leading running backs. He's also a captain, he's been all conference. He's the leading rusher on the team, and he certainly will be again after that particular play. All they did is put the next two guys in the backfield, came off the edges. Watch how they secure the edge for his speed. Nice lane, now he turns it on. That's why he's such an outstanding runner and receiver. He's got excellent speed right there. When you control the line of scrimmage, you can almost do anything inside and outside. Bray is going to keep it. He has the first down and more. Bray's going to take this into the end zone. Touchdown from 31 yards out. What a good job right there of running. But the excellent job of blocking. And part of it was because St. Francis defensive line has been so aggressive. They get up the field and they're allowed to be kicked out and trapped. And that was just a nice job right there of doing that and getting up the field and into the end zone. Phillips will kick it off. Kreider is the man on the far side of the formation, and Kreider is going to back up into center field and catch this at the one-yard line. Brings his return up the middle of the field. He has a seam. He has one more man to beat. And Phillips, unable to make the play, cutting inside for a 99-yard touchdown return for a touchdown is Adam Kreider. There's excellent speed right there by Adam Kreider, who's a captain. And uh, I'm sure that the Downers Grove North wishes they still had him. He transferred from Downers Grove North. And there it is, 99 yards right on the money. Great speed. This is how you run back a kickoff. You don't slow down, you don't dance. You find your seam on the move, moving up the field. And that's exactly what he did. Excellent job of kick returning by Adam Kreider. 6'2", 195 with excellent speed. Milivojevic on fourth down and nine. Takes a look, loads it up. Wide Post open. pattern, has a man open, complete. Now can it get to the end zone? Adam Kreider will take it in. Touchdown, St. Francis. No laundry on the field. That play covers 63 yards. Well, when he puts the ball up in the air, he's got some receivers that can go get it. And he, he takes his time because initially he's not open, but you can see right there he's going to say, look at you can run underneath that ball. And that's exactly what Kreider did. And you can see the speed that Kreider has at 6'2", 195 pounds to get over the top of two receivers. He was double coverage, and yet he broke deep on the post route. And then earlier he ran back a 99-yard kickoff return. So he's a pretty good, pretty good athlete. Bray back on fourth down, heaves it up. Good choice. You have nothing to lose. And a great oh, 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 oh. into the end zone for the oh. touchdown is Van Lindu. 
And this time there are no uh, flags down in the field, 24 yards on the touchdown pass. High school football at its finest right there. And, and what a, again, we're talking about this the whole, almost the whole game, but what a great effort by Max Bray. I mean, he is getting rushed right off of his feet, obviously, and throws the ball up for grabs more or less, but between two defenders, comes up with the football and a touchdown, and we just talked about what an outstanding effort that is. And that was uh, Thane Lindu right there. Nice job going up between two receivers and two defenders and picking it up. To view this Xfinity program in its entirety, visit CN100.TV for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing Game of the Week. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local or simply say Get Local into your voice remote. 